Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find the derivative of the sec of ax by first principle. So yes, we have to consider this f of x is equals to sec of ax, right? So yes, and we have to write down what is first principle. So here we have, yes, we have this f dash of x is equals to limit h tends to 0 this f of x plus h minus f of x upon h right so by using this first principle we have to find the derivative of sec of ax so yes we have to put down the value of f of x plus h and f of x here so yes from this we have this is sec of ax plus ah minus sec of ax right and this is upon h yes so yes when we put h is equals to 0 here this numerator get vanished that means we have to do the simplification here so yes for this we will write this is sec of x as a 1 upon cos right so yes we will write down 1 upon h here and sec as this is 1 upon cos of ax plus ah and this is same here cos of ax right yes again we have to do the simplification for this we will do the cross multiplication here so here we have yes we have done cross multiplication now we can check that in numerator we have cos of a minus cos of b right so yes we know that what is cos of a minus cos of b yes we know that this is is equals to minus 2 into sine of this a plus b by 2 into sine of a minus b by 2 right this is the factorization of cos of a minus cos of b so yes we have to write down this numerator by this factorization formula so here we have this f dash of x is equals to this limit h tends to 0 this 1 upon h as it is so here we have to write down in numerator minus 2 into sine of this is a x plus a x plus a h by 2 yes we have to consider this is as a, a and this is as a b into sine of a minus b so here we have this is sine of a x minus a x plus a h right yes and this denominator this is as it is yes now we will do the simplification here yes we have done simplification here now we have to check can we put h is equals to 0 here yes when we put h is equals to 0 yes this sign get vanish yes that means this other terms doesn't get 0 so yes we will adjust this 1 upon h to this denominator so that we can apply this standard limit here limit a x tends to 0 sorry this is x tends to 0 sine of a x by x is equals to 1 yes this is we have limit x tends to 0 yes so we can adjust this 1 upon h to this denominator so that we can apply this result right so yes here we have this minus 2 outside yes again this minus we can this take this outside since here we have this is sine of minus theta yes we can write this is minus of sine theta yes so we will take this minus sine outside so here we have this is minus 1 right so this is limit h tends to 0 
we have taken this minus 2 and this minus 1 this is outside here so yes this is limit h tends to 0 this is sine of again we can write this is as a sine ax plus ah by 2 and we will write down this cos here yes and we will write down 1 upon h to this denominator so here this is sine of minus ah by 2 and this is h right yes so here we have this is plus 2 yes now this is limit to this right now we can separate the limit and limit to this sign sorry this is here we have taken minus outside so this is sine a h by 2 and this is h here yes we have to adjust this a h by 2 here so yes we will multiply this denominator this is by a by 2 so that here we have a h by 2 and for this we have to multiply this is by 2 by a so that we can adjust this formula here yes yes next we have to do the simplification so for this yes we will take this is 2 by a this is outside the limit since it's constant so here we have this is 2 by a yes now we have to put limit h is equals to 0 here so yes we will get this is sine of this ax plus 0 same we have to put limit here this is cos of ax plus 0 and this is cos of ax as it is right and we here remaining yes we have this is limit h tends to 0 this is sine of ah by 2 yes we have to put this is as a 1 yes so by putting 1 this is here and doing simplification yes we will get this 2 to get cancelled this is a here so here we have this is sine of ax this is cos of ax into this is cos of ax right so yes we have to write down this is sine upon cos this is as a tan of ax and this is 1 upon cos this is as a sec of ax yes what we have write down this is tan of x is equals to this is sine by cos right and this is sec this is 1 upon cos of x yes we have write down this is here so yes and what is f of x f of x is equals to this is sec of ax and we have find derivative of sec of ax right so what's derivatives of sec of ax this is sec of ax into tan of ax into a yes for any value of a we can find derivative of sec of ax so let if we have to find this is sec of 5x derivative so what will be derivative of sec of 5x so this is sec of 5x into tan of 5x into 5 yes so in this way we have find derivative of sec of ax this is given by sec of ax into tan of ax into a so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching